They're white wolf. What are you thinking? Recently, there has been a controversy on the Camarilla book published by White Wolf and recently distributed. If you didn't hear about it in one of the excerpts of that book, uh, it essentially takes the plight and very, very real struggle and dangers of the LGBTQI community in a particular country and turns it into a punchline, into a cover for the Camarilla. Uh, who, although uh, acknowledge that those things are happening, they actually use it and they endorse this genocide. This is problematic at many, many levels. Not to say just the fact that this is actually happening, it is real and it's an incredibly bad taste, but it is actually affecting real people today, now. Think about it, imagine that uh, what it would feel like, you know, if for example in the US, White Wolf had used school shootings as a cover for whatever it is that's going on. It trivialized the loss of, of lives of children because of vampires. It's just not, not cool. It, it is really not okay at all. And I think. This has happened because of editorial content control, as in there being none at all, because this doesn't make sense at all, okay? Uh, firstly, that paragraphs, those paragraphs, they do read like sketches. It feels like the writer, and I'm quite sure I'm right on this, because I've spoken with the writer, sent you the initial outline for this and not a lot of work has been done over it and that is really terrible practice it's really really bad practice secondly and i'm going to be very brutal here but right now i kid you not it feels like white wolf is being run by a bunch of teenagers really high on weed or whatever at a room at university saying this is so cool, this is going to piss some people off, let's, let's put this because this is so controversial <laughs> and then come, go, do come the others and say idiot, naughty, what have you done? Say, oh, sorry, sorry, let me change it, let me change it, I'll, I'll change it, I'll change it. That's no way of conducting business. Okay. Vampire the Masquerade came out as a controversial game. It has always handled controversy. It's what it is. And okay, when you do controversy, you're never going to please everyone, ever at all. But you can do controversy well, or you can do controversy very, very badly, which is what you're doing right now. You're doing controversy really badly, because most of the controversy that you're doing right now, it punches down. It doesn't punch up. You keep trivializing, mocking and invalidating the disenfranchised and lonely people who found a place, who found solace in Vampire the Masquerade time and time again. And you're giving space for those who actually trivialize the struggles of the minorities, of those who are different, and you're giving them space, you're giving them the tools to continue to trivialize that. And it's not necessary, it's not just that it's not okay, it's not even necessary to create controversy. And I wonder, I really wonder, if actually you're reading what you're publishing. If you have a team of people from both sides, I don't care, even if you want to, you know, consult with the alt-right, but God forbid, for goodness sake, don't do that. Give your books, your controversies, to some people who can tell you before you publish, this is okay, this is not okay, why don't you change it like this, this is going to upset, this is not going to upset, or this is going to upset these people. 
why aren't you doing that? And please don't tell me that you are, because if you are, then you need to change those people or you need to listen better. But right now, it feels like there is a cycle of White Wolf publishes something really rubbish, people complain, White Wolf apologizes and reschedules and relaunches. You know, that can happen once, perhaps twice, but if it happens all the time, maybe you're actually not listening, you're not learning, or you're doing it on purpose, but either way, you lose the right of the benefit of the doubt. And you're losing it very, very quickly, very quickly from an awful lot of people. An awful lot of people. I lost interest in Vampire, you reach, you, you to track back, I got my interest back in the game, and now you publish this? Seriously? Come on. You need to do better. An awful lot of people is relying on Vampire Masquerade to be in that game where we find solace. You have the responsibility because you have very big shoes to fill. And right now, I'm sorry, but you're not feeling them at all. And if somebody whines because we are complaining, well, the problem is with them, not with us. Check your editorial, get some editorial control and get some proper editorial content. Check it out because you have to do way, way better than this. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Do give me the thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. Don't bother with thumbs down because I really don't care at all. Do leave your respectful comments because I will delete anything that's insulting or disrespectful because I have zero time for people like you. And by all means, do feel free to share the love and spread the video around. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos very, very soon indeed. Don't forget also to watch our Dear Some Straight Gamer channel. I will talk to you very soon.